to do a quick review of the Lake Lansing Team Relay that I finished this morning while it's fresh in my head. Uh, it turned out probably better than I expected, uh, considering the last week was pretty lackluster for me. All week long it just felt like my legs were just dead, which is kind of weird because I'm in taper time and running less than I did just like a week before. Got a little bit going on in my personal life this week. Uh, I put in my notice at work and changing jobs and stuff, so I'm wondering if uh, some of that stress kind of uh, wore off or the, maybe the weather's a little bit more humid than it's been or probably a combination of things. But for whatever reason, this week I was just dead. Yesterday I did a long run. Uh, that was a total disaster. I went out and uh, ran eight miles outside and it was fairly humid to give myself a little bit of a break, but ran eight miles and decided I think I'm going to go inside and do the rest of my miles on the treadmill, so that's what I did. Um, but even then, I had to kind of cheat. I took uh, about every two miles, I took a break uh, to let my core temperature go down, uh, get a drink, and jump back onto the treadmill. So that was really disconcerting. So considering all that, going into this race today on tired legs from a long run yesterday, um, uh, history and the last week being very bad and uh, just um, you know being in the middle of marathon training and everything I really didn't expect too much out of myself I ended up running about 34 flat for five and a quarter miles um, so I think it was like six six thirty seven pace something like that I can't remember exactly what it works out to but one of the miles goes through the woods and that's a very slow mile like every single person you're winding through the woods it's on a dirt trail it's very soft ground so you're sinking in it's harder to push off pretty much everyone is about 30 seconds slower uh on that mile so um, i ran about seven minute pace on for that for that portion of it all things considered i think that was a pretty pretty decent performance uh faster than last year uh, my last tune-up race here going into marquette so uh, I'm hoping this weird week of not feeling really good about my running uh, turns around these last two taper weeks and I feel more confident because I was feeling really confident up until about the last week or so. This race, uh, another thing I kind of liked about this race was uh, I never got passed the whole way. Um, I think I passed four or five people total. I started towards the front so I wasn't zooming past the whole, you know, dozens and dozens of people. but. Um, Passed a couple, passed about three people, I think, in about the first mile, mile and a half, maybe two miles. Um, and then the, I was running for a long time behind these two women. Uh, I think they were both Playmakers athletes. Uh, I kind of just settled right in behind them for a long time. And um, when we got to the trail portion, I was right on their tail. We got to the boardwalk portion, and uh, I was catching up behind them, and... Uh, Eventually I said, on your left, I passed them there, and then uh, for the rest of the race I was sort of looking over my shoulder every once in a while because they were right behind me, and the timing worked out such that after I passed them, uh, I felt good, at, I felt real good at that time actually, I was like, uh, okay, I ran the slow mile through the woods, um, now I'm going to be able to speed up once I get out of here, but that first mile was actually, a, I think that was my slowest mile besides the woods, I think I ran like a 640. And uh, after that, I was just trying to hold on, basically. I, I really thought they were going to catch me at the end. Um, they were just maybe, every time I looked back, it seemed like they were, oh, 20, 20 feet behind me, maybe, something like that. Maybe a little bit more than that. Um, so I just kept, kept expecting to see them zoom by me, but they never did. I, I sped up for the, the last portion of the race and crossed it like five five minute pace or something like that. The pace overall, like if I was going to run an 8K, a five mile race, I would expect to be a lot faster than that. Um, but given the, 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 the trail mile and uh, some of the other factors, uh, you know, that slowed me down. I, like I said, I ran 630 something pace. Um, I would hope to be, like I ran a 10K a couple weeks ago. Uh, uh, at about that pace, but again, that was in the heat of summer, so I would expect to be a little faster than that, um, maybe six, six ten, even somewhere around there if I was, you know, fully tapered and everything was lining up good. I've run a sub-19 5K, um, and I'm hoping to improve on that. I'm hoping my next one might be to dip under six-minute pace uh, for the 5K for the first time, so, um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I think I have to say about the race. 
Um, I've run this race before. It's pretty well organized. Uh, it's really fun to do the team relay, which I did not do. I just ran my own lap. Um, but uh, it's a really cool event for, you know, get together with a group of friends or co-workers or whatever and, and uh, see how you stack up against other teams and, uh, you know, holding that uh, baton in your hand again, it's kind of fun and all that. So um, if you're from Lansing, if you're in the area, um, it's worth it. It's, it's a fun, fun day. Um, so, so that's about all I have to say about that. Um, I got a shoe review here I'm going to publish shortly. And uh, I'm going to be uh, tuning up here for uh, Marquette Marathon, go for my BQ attempt, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm also going to be moving, most likely, to Minnesota, which is home for me. Um, I also have a Facebook interview coming up, so I might end up moving to California, but I think that's a pretty long shot. So, uh, most likely going to be relocating here to Minnesota in a couple weeks. I've had a lot going on this summer, so... I haven't been getting out as many videos as I would like. I still got shoe, two shoe reviews I'm going to try to get out. Um, but hopefully my life is going to calm down here after I get situated and moved and stuff. But um, it might be a little sketchy here for the next month or so. But um, So thanks for your patience. Uh, subscribe if you like the content. And I'll be back soon.